Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and we're going to make another skillet cake. And in fact, if you're looking for skillet cakes, well, I think I have 10. This will make 10 or 11th, I'm not quite sure. I mean, from uh, nectarine to peach to pear uh, to uh, streusel. Uh, oh my gosh, chocolate. I, well, I got quite a few, like I said. Um, so please check it out if you're looking for different types of skillet cakes. What I did was, um, this is a 10 inch skillet cake, uh, uh, pan, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I took three tablespoons of unsalted butter and uh, actually heated my 10 inch uh, skillet pan. And then I added three quarters of a cup of brown sugar to that uh, on my stove and melted the sugar and the butter till it started to uh, just bubble, kind of bubble up on the top. Uh, and then what you do is you just take your uh, peaches. I did buy them out of a can. Uh, I used uh, two 15 ounce can of sliced uh, peaches uh, in the, its syrup. Uh, and then I just went ahead and I just, you know, laid them down on top of it. And then what you can do is just take some uh, maraschino cherries if you want and just put them, you know, around the peaches to make it look kind of pretty. And um, just like that, okay? And you can put as many as you want, you know, you can do six or you can put more cherries if you prefer, whatever, whatever you like. And I'm going to just put this aside for the moment because it is a bit hot from being on the stove. Now we want to make, of course, the batter or the cake for this uh, peach skillet cake. So we're going to start off with eight uh, tablespoons of unsalted butter that I've had at room temperature and cut up into small pieces. And I'm going to break it up and cream, uh, cream it. The next thing we're going to be putting in is one and a half cups of granulated sugar to the butter. And just beat that till it's all combined and very smooth. Okay? You're also going to be putting in a teaspoon of vanilla. So beat the idea. And then you're also going to be using two eggs, and I've had them at room temperature. We'll beat in only one at a time. a minute or two but I want to move it along due to the video so the next thing now is to work on our dry ingredients so we're going to be needing all-purpose flour and we're going to be putting in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour in our flour we also will be putting in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and we're going to be putting in a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to give that a quick stir. Okay. And then we're also going to need a half a cup of milk. And I had that also at room temperature. Okay. So I'm going to put a little of the dry in and then a little bit of the milk and just keep alternating it as I beat it together. A little more flour in and a little milk. Now we'll put the rest of the flour in and the rest of the milk. going to beat that till it's nice and smooth. And now I'm just going to take the excess off my paddle. Now you don't want to overbeat this cake either because you don't want it to become real dense and real heavy because you're not going to like it. 
And now I'm just going to bring everything together, make sure the sides of my bowl and everything's mixed at the bottom. And it should look quite uh, silky and smooth, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take, of course, your skillet. And then you're going to put the batter all over the top of it. Try to spread it out as evenly as you can. And then the rest of the way, you know, you use a knife. But try to move the batter all around a little bit before you have to use your knife. It's a little bit easier that way, I find. Okay, I want to get into the corners here. Okay. And I like to get it all out of my bowl because I don't want to waste any of this. All right, and then with a knife here, we'll just take off the rest that's on my spatula here. Okay. Now, you're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay. I'm just going to just smooth that out a little bit. Okay, over the top. 350 and you're going to bake it anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes. So start checking them early because as we do realize all ovens set up so differently. Um, I like to start checking mine about really 35 minutes or so. Um, and then when it does come out of the oven, put it on a cooling rack and it's probably best to let it sit on a cooling rack for about 20 minutes. Uh, clean the sides of the cake with a, with a knife and then you'll want to, uh, you know, invert it onto your serving, uh, serving plate, that type of thing. But I find at least wait 20 minutes so that, you know, the cake, you know, you won't leave half of the peaches inside the, in, in the skillet, okay? So I have one to show you, so I'm going to just rinse my hands quickly here one that is baked up and this is how it will turn out it really comes out such a pretty pretty cake you can also it's optional if you want to make a sugar glaze with powdered sugar and milk or water and put that over uh, the top uh, of your cake this cake uh, really tastes delicious uh, cold or warm uh, with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, uh, that type of thing. It really comes out so pretty. You can see the pretty peaches on top as well as all those little cherries that I put in there. Um, it bakes up to um, a very nice uh, cake. It's not, as I said, extremely, um, you know, heavy. It's quite a medium, about a medium textured crumb on it. But oh, what a great tasting cake. And it's so quick and so easy to make. Well, there you have it. If you make this cake and you like it, well, leave a comment because I always like to hear from you. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake. Please subscribe to my channel. And just to mention, you'll find my videos only on YouTube. So I hope you'll watch me on YouTube. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.